Yeah. As I mentioned earlier in the show, this is about as hot as it gets usually in the Denver area each summer. We have not reached any higher than 97 degrees this season. I think that will happen this afternoon. It'll happen again tomorrow. 92 is where we are right now, so we're warming up quickly. Not a cloud in the sky, and of course, on days like this when it's so hot, I'd like to quickly go over the safety tips for this time of year with all the heat. Of course, if you have an outdoor job, stay hydrated, take frequent breaks in the shade as often as possible. If you have kids or pets, and you're going to have them in the car with you. Always look before you lock. Make sure no one is left behind. And of course, if you normally exercise outdoors, this is the time of day you want to avoid that, either early or late, or hit the gym inside in the AC. And speaking of AC, if you know of anyone who does not have air conditioning with this type of heat, make sure you're checking on them and ensuring everything is okay. Of course, we're not alone. A lot of the country is hot. 100 degrees here for our high this afternoon in Denver. But that is higher than many cities in the Midwest. The difference, of course, they have the humidity. That's why there are excessive heat warnings up for uh, at least 200 million people. All these cities here in the Midwest, like Chicago, St. Louis, Kansas City, over to Detroit, and then all those areas in orange are under a heat advisory of some sort. And when you factor in the humidity, these are the maximum heat index values. Look at St. Louis, 109, 108 in Kansas City. So, of course, it could be a whole lot worse than our heat here for the cities that have a lot more humidity to the east of us. 99 is the record uh, currently on the books for this date. That was July 18th, 1998. We have 100 in the forecast this afternoon, so we're going to be really close. I think we'll at least tie this record, and it's possible that we could break it. We'll be watching the thermometer at DIA. Of course, that's where the official thermometer for the city is located, so we'll be watching it carefully this afternoon. Look at Lamar, 108. That's not a heat index. That's the real temperature there uh, this afternoon. 99 in Akron, 70s and 80s in the mountains, 90s and 100 for the western slope. The map for tomorrow looks very similar to the map for today. Not much will change tomorrow, but then we will get some relief from the heat as we get into the weekend. For now, clear skies all across the state, so no chance for any thunderstorms. That does mean an elevated fire danger. Red flag warning now in effect until 7 p.m. For all the areas shaded in, you guessed it, red. Summit County, Northern Park County, up into Gil Gilpin and Clear Creek counties, and then north to Estes Park, the Rocky Mountain National Park region, and the far northwest corner of Colorado. Gusty wind, just enough wind up to about 35 miles per hour combined with the heat. The low humidity means if a fire were to start in the mountains today, it could spread rapidly. Conditions are right for that. So 100 today. Let's do 100 again tomorrow, Joel. Nothing changes, so we'll go with it. 101 is the record tomorrow, so probably not record territory like today could be. And then Saturday down to 90, 20% chance for a gusty thunderstorm late. Sunday it'll feel chilly with a high of only 81, 40% yeah. chance for thunderstorms. That's right, that's a summer cold front on the way <laughs> this weekend, my friend. I'm excited about that. Bring it, bring it on. Yeah, we're ready for it. 80s, it'll feel nice It'll Sunday into Monday. It always does. All yeah. right, thank you.